Well hi there, welcome to Paint and Zoo. My name's Matt and I've come today to meet Cindy, who's one of our carnivore keepers here at Paint and Zoo, and we've come to meet our Asiatic lions. So Cindy, who have we got behind us? So over here we have got Yali. He has just turned five years old and he was born here at Paint and Zoo. Right now, Yali is a an Asiatic lion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to be clear, he's not an African lion. No. Okay, there, there's some small differences, right, between the yeah, two. Yeah, you can see on him. So the um, the Africans have a bigger mane, okay. and they're a bigger animal as well. Whereas these guys, you'll pretty much always see their ears because their mane is that slightly bit smaller. Right. Okay. So basically, sort of sparser mane, mm -hmm. slightly smaller. You say he's smaller than an African lion, <laughs> but we're still talking like 200 kilos yeah. or so. Of, yeah, uh, roughly about 210 yeah. kilograms. So he's not a small cat? No, not at okay. all. Now, Yali was born here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got him on his own at the minute. Yeah. Uh, in the wild, so in India, where he'd be found, then would you normally find uh, an Asiatic lion on its own? Yeah, naturally they get moved away from their pride when they come of age. Right, and okay. so they will spend some time travelling around on their own before they find their female. Right, okay, so I mean, scientists would talk about like, nomadic males like all being pushed into that phase and uh, about just basically young males moving around. Now, I, you see, is he trying to start a pride or is he just, I, I suppose at this age, he's just trying to avoid big males, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, probably a little bit of both, trying to find his, his niche. Right. Okay. Um, but to start a pride of his own so that he can have cubs. Yeah. Okay, so I suppose he's <laughs> at age five, he's moving between like between places looking for a pride where he might be able to take over mm -hmm. and, uh, and and actually father cubs. But he's, he's not fully grown yet. Um, he actually pretty much is. Okay, so. so lions, when they reach about 18 months, they are able to reproduce. Right, so, so they can reproduce at a young age. But is it more fighting ability and, and yeah. com confidence? I yeah, suppose, confidence, that will yeah. I mean, he, he does have a little way to go with his confidence, but we're right. hoping that when the time comes, he's got a female to fight over. Right, okay. Even though he won't be in a situation where there's another male in there to yeah. fight. He'll get that boost of confidence. Okay, so the the female lion appears, and yes. as if by magic, All the he will become more confident. Right. Yes. Okay. Now we were saying about him having not the most confidence. You were chatting about him getting some enrichment this morning. So enrichment is trying to uh, basically keep the animals interested. The keepers will come up with different ways to feed or encourage natural behaviour. So you gave him some food inside a cardboard box. Yeah, the cardboard box is open from the top. Okay. Um, it shouldn't have been scary at all. Right. He then put his head in the cardboard box to retrieve the food and got very nervous and very scared by the fact that this box was now on his head. Okay. So he ran down from the paddock and just to our side here is where he's been for the rest of the day. Okay, so a lot of people with pet cats at home will be familiar with them being you know, unsettled by mm -hmm. something different. Okay. Now, Asiatic lions in the wild, so they're from, from India, and mm -hmm. now they were once found a lot of, across a lot of Asia, yeah. but, but they're now restricted to this one uh, forest area in, in India called Gear Forest. And I know we talk about them being endangered, but, mm -hmm. but do you know how many there are in the wild? Uh, there's the recent recording, but obviously COVID has stopped them from doing yeah. a really recent one. So 2020, there was 648 individuals. Okay. So I didn't even think that things like COVID might interrupt like actually surveying for yeah. the cats. So about sort of 600 and, and so individuals. So that, that's actually an increase, right? Mm -hmm. so yeah, a it's small an increase in about 23%. Okay, so not so quite a good increase. Now I know we were talking about this just now, but one of the conservation problems with these lions is the fact that all of those 600 lions are in one place. So what's the problem with that? Well, if there is something that environmental or otherwise that wipes out that area, then you right. are wiping out the entire population. Okay. Because whereas before they used to be in places such as Turkey and other areas, if you yeah. wipe out one population, you still have another population in the wild. Yeah. But if this happened now, then there wouldn't be any left. Okay. So I, I know with African lions, scientists are worried because their numbers are decreasing rapidly, but they're still found in different places. Whereas so, so with the Asi Asiatic lions, if you had some wildfire or like a yeah. disease like feline distemper or something that could actually affect quite a lot, can it? All your eggs are in one basket. Yep. Okay, and that's where zoos come in, right, as a mm -hmm. captive population. Um, would we hope to breed from Yali in the future? Yeah, that's our hope. Um, yeah. At the moment, we've got someone that's kind of uh, called a stud bookkeeper, right, okay. and they're in charge of the genetics of the animal. Right. Because things like we've mentioned in the wild, their population is getting better, but right. it's still very, very low. We have to make sure that the captive animals are genetically pure. Right. So we did have a sister here before she went to be part of the breeding okay. program. 
We never bred from his sister because obviously then that would mean the genetic pool wasn't pure. Right, okay. So that's one of the main problems we have. So we need to find a female okay. and then make sure that genetically it's okay to place that female with Yali. Okay. Because Yali wouldn't necessarily be able to give you any indicator that he was related to that female. Right, okay. A female is just a female to it. So we're looking for, for a suitable like compatible mm -hmm. Asiatic lion from a slightly different bloodline that you yeah. know unrelated to him. So if you know of anybody who's got a spare Asiatic lion, that would be fantastic. Now uh, I'm looking slightly nervous because Yali has come a little bit closer during the break of filming, and it, as visitors may see here, he can move incredibly quickly and incredibly quietly. So if I suddenly jump, it's because an Asiatic <laughs> lion has just appeared behind me. <laughs> right now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you today about, and it's something visitors can look out for or listen for, is is Yali roaring. Mm -hmm. Because I have to say, it's one of the most impressive sounds in the zoo. And if you're here visiting Painton Zoo and you come to see Yali, or if you're on your way out of the zoo at the end of the day, you can quite often hear Yali's roar, like carrying across. So, why is he roaring? What's the story? Um, he will roar just to say that this is his area. So it's okay. almost to scare off any males. Right, okay, so it's quite a confident statement. He yes. is saying, I am here, this is my territory. And in the wild, he could get into trouble, right? If he roared mm -hmm. and there was another bigger male nearby, so he's obviously quite confident. Okay, is that going to attract females as well, hopefully? Yeah, I mean, they'd go to an animal that, or a male that they fear that will protect them, especially when they start cubbing. Right, because okay. the male's responsibility and job is to protect his females and his offspring. Right, so a female who hears the roar of, of the male that she recognises is safe. Mm -hmm. But but if a female here hears another roar, like Yali's roar or something, then she may not be safe with with those cubs. No. So if visitors hear hear the roar and you, if you hear it carrying across then it's it's Yali, that's our five year old male and he's announcing his basically his he's here. His kingship. Yeah. Okay, and he's he's looking for a female. Yep. Right, okay. Well thank you very much Cindy for talking to us today. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about our Asiatic lions here at Painton Zoo. And please come and see us soon. Cheers.